try to get it on the top there. What's up mini truckers, Ben here, US Mini Trucks, we got the truck here, we're going in, get that distributor, it's got a leak, there's like a little o-ring that goes in there, what you're going to need first, is, uh, it's a 7 millimeter. you can probably use a socket, and got two bolts on the bottom, and what I'll do is get on the top, Get this one and we'll go from there. I'll be back. Okay, you can see that uh, cap is loosened up. I'll see if I can reach in there and get it out. I may have to pull it from the bottom. I'm just going to leave it there. You can see that rotor. Let's Go from the bottom. Not a bad time to look at our our rotor and our cap. I'm not sure why it's so rusty in there. Can scrape a little bit of this corrosion off. All right, now let's go to the other part. What we'll do is get some sort of marker or something, and we're gonna mark where this rotor is and what position. And that way, if we move the gear or whatever when we're trying to pull it out, we won't be totally screwed. Okay. All right, mini truckers. I got these two bolts out. There's one here. It's a 12 millimeter. And then there's one there. And if you can see, I tried to mark the line where it was because when you rotate it like this, that's what causes the timing to change. So we're gonna pull it out. I also marked it, tried to up here. And I just got one of these paint pens. It's like a uh, paint pen, something on eBay I ordered from Japan or from China, about a dollar. It's an oil base. All right, mini truckers, this is the leaky part. This sits into that hole like this and is just set in there. There is a uh, front and a back, it looks like. And then these O-rings, just so brittle, they're turned into plastic from being from rubber. So I actually have three parts of these. It looks like they sell these. If you need one, go ahead and get on that U.S. Mini Trucks website and get you one order. Stop that oil leak. All right, have I wanted to show you a little bit of something about the distributor. So we got our new O-rings. This is what you got. It's this uh, piece that rides on here. You've also got, they sell the new ones, but this is what it would look like if we just replaced those O-rings. Okay, so we'll keep that there so we don't lose it. One thing I also want to point out is just a lot of people ask, you know, when to replace the distributor, what to look for. So this was the old rotor, and the way it sits on here is actually just pressed on so you have a something like this and this rotates around so what you got to be mindful of is where it was in position when you take this distributor off because if you start just rotating around willy-nilly uh, and you forget where it is then you can have problems later on when you go to start it and you say hey you know where are my markings or uh, that sort of thing Okay, 
so the other thing oh the cap here so like i said this is just pressed on you're just going to pull really hard and get that off and then this is what the back side looks like okay there's a little friction tab and then you just press this new one on okay and once it's let me grab a tool here let's see if you can see i mean it's very you can almost hear that it's pretty rough compared to this new one when i do it back and forth is smooth okay so this is probably the original one on there i think the truck's got about a hundred and thousand kilometers on it okay this is the uh, much more obvious sign let me move this to the side we're going to put that on later on and uh, what we've got is the cap so if you can see in there let me see let me see if how it's working or not okay so what you've got a couple moving parts here this thing goes up and down and is under spring tension and you'll see when i get the new one out the they usually stick out further so watch when we just put that down this is kind of where it naturally wants to reset to where it actually could be up really high so you lose spring tension obviously you know it's going to be this is probably close to 28 years old and then here same thing here you know you could try to scrape this stuff off uh, but it's really pretty rough and they're designed to be replaced so you want it to be nice and clean in here and uh oh the other thing i was going to point out is yeah look at right here this is where the rotor comes into contact here like this it's going to spin like this and so you can see that amount of wear is pretty significant it's uh, even it seems like it's definitely like depressed there so on the new one we'll go ahead and grab us a new one so you always got to get that genuine honda part Show you the difference okay and this is going to be what a new one looks like so uh, this one was working fine on the right i ended up just pulling it off and once you look at it and i was feeling here it's really pretty rough and then you see what a new one is going to look like nice and smooth so it's better anytime you pull it off just go ahead and pop a new one on i like to keep my customers happy so we'll put that on they come with the new bolts okay those are actually like fit in there so that'll help hopefully this helps and then i'll show you up in the follow-up video how to get this mounted back onto the engine hopefully. all right we're right back at it it's another day got the distributor going in the acti you can see where we're at here it's two bolts uh, I accessed them from the bottom I'm about to put this cap back on so I left it off just so I can make sure that the rotor was in the good position that I wanted it to be in and so now we'll put this in okay so we got the new one on from the top I just slid it down there and then tighten these bolts and you probably best to use a seven millimeter socket i'm not sure why i used this last time but uh, here's what it looks like underneath Put that. everything back together got the vacuum lines i got a lot of calls actually from mechanic shops even they're like hey you start it what? the truck yeah go ahead and turn that key yeah. Just turn the key in the ignition. There we go. Yep, keep going. Let me try, let me try. Hold on. I think the battery might be dead. Alright, 
this is a good this is a good test wanted to show you something that I got this is what I'm gonna show you in the video this is basically a jump box you plug in here these red and black and the idea is that it's supposed to be able to jump a whole truck so I was gonna test this in that video see if we could get it started but I'm gonna shoot that in the next video so go ahead and hit that like or subscribe and hit that little notification button down below and that way when I get new videos updated you can uh, be informed but I got an awesome new find here on this Subaru sandbar so I went to two separate transmission shops they couldn't help actually called a third one so three different ones nobody wants to do anything so we got to take matters into our own hands and I already got it fixed in like 15 minutes so don't take no for an answer and watch out for those haters they're always lurking have a good one